It's about the profound changes that started in World War I and have not yet finished. Uh, it's a world which is more democratic. It's a world in which multilateral institutions have begun, although they are very weak, but nevertheless they are essential part of the world. But above all, it's a story of self-determination and of the enormous number of new states there are in the world, some of which are now on a continental scale. And uh, just as in Europe, we think we have managed to deal with the problems of 2,000 years of war, we suddenly find that we've got a whole great world out there with new states, uh, with new states, with new problems, and with new ideas. But for me, the essential part of the solution is the multilateral institutions. The multilateral institutions that matter most, in my view, are not actually the, the, institution, the global institutions. The UN is a fine body, I have nothing against it. The Secretariat and the specialized agencies do an extremely good job. Um, but I believe that in the future, what is going to matter are the regional organizations. Uh, that um, to make Africa work, you need to make the African Union work. Europe works because the European Union is beginning to work. ASEAN is extremely important. Um, the great ideas of the 19th century around which political movements were built, liberty, equality, fraternity, um, somehow uh, they've lost their political impetus. Um, if you ask what people want from politics these days, they don't talk about liberty, equality, and fraternity. Uh, they talk about money. Um, and we have somehow degraded our politics into a kind of marketplace. And yet, if you look at the world, you find that an enormous number of people are better off than they were. You find that in spite of the conflicts we have, actually, we're not facing anything like World War I or World War II again. Uh, so it's, the picture is mixed. It's not completely black, but it's not, uh, there's a long way to go to. <laughs>